Now today is Veterans Day. Many of you know this, a day specifically designated to honor the men and women who defend our country and have defended our freedoms here in the United States. So to all of you veterans out there watching, thank you for your service. Well, out in West Columbia tonight, local veterans gathered for some fun, music, dancing, and food. I got a closer look at this Veterans Day and Thanksgiving potluck. Some tunes, prayer, a flag ceremony. And good old fashioned family fun at Saturday's Veterans Day and Thanksgiving dance and potluck at Bill's Music Shop and Pick and Parlor. This patriotic music business has been hosting events like this one for years, falling on the 4th of July, Labor Day, and Memorial Day too. The organizer of the event, Richard Molinax, a former colonel in the State Guard and Vietnam-era Navy veteran, says events like this unite people who've given a huge sacrifice for our country's freedoms. God called some of us veterans, we recognize them on Memorial Day, uh, to give our life on the battlefield. And some of us, he let us come home and live. But we come home to live, to share the horrors of war so that maybe we won't ever have to go back to war again. Mullinax says it's important that events like this one continue to happen to remind younger folks of our history and what we should be grateful for. We as veterans, all of us at one point in time, we stood and raised our hand and we swore an oath to defend our way of life, our constitution, uh, defend our liberties and our freedoms that uh, unborn generations one day would enjoy the freedoms that we get to enjoy. And in order to do that, we got to keep it before them all the time or, or they'll forget. Larry Boyd, another veteran who served over 35 years, says the bond veterans have is special. We call each other brothers, no matter what branch of military we were in. We're family. We greet each other and, and uh, we really look forward to, to spending this time together. 